Phuket here in Thailand. Look at this, it is just paradise. Good morning guys from the beautiful island of Phuket here in Thailand. We actually got a flight yesterday from Bangkok. It only took an hour, was a super short flight and look at where we are. This island is actually a province in itself, which means it is one huge, huge island. There's so much to explore. We're staying at the Amari Hotel here in Phuket. Cheers. Cheers, wow, look at this place. We are literally arriving in style. We literally have the whole view of Patong Beach, which is amazing, and we have already had our breakfast. I have never seen so much food for breakfast. We have a Thai section, we have an egg and dosa station, we have a Western section, we have an Indian curry section, a Middle Eastern section, dessert station, a fruit and veg press station, and finally we have a noodle station. I have never pressed my own fruit as a juice before. How much do I even put in? I don't know. I think it reflects badly on us. I think I've done it. What do you do now? Put the glass here? And squeeze. Is it working? Yeah, it's gushing. This is so good. This is like culinary heaven. <laughs> I'm going to everyone. I'm traveling all over the world in one breakfast. I've gone for the dosa, vegetarian curry, I've got some mango sticky rice, I'm making a vada pad. I love this in Mumbai. It's basically the Indian burger. So you get, do I think that's the pad, that's the vada? Yeah, I think so. Chuck it in there, bit of chutney, and it is the And then best. we'll go and get some Thai food. And then, yeah, and then we'll get round two, round three, round four. It's good to be in Phuket. There's so much to explore. I need to get down to the pool because the sun is shining and it is very, very hot. It's actually supposed to be rainy season, but the crystal clear blue water and sunshine definitely says otherwise. There are so many viewpoints in Patong, around Patong Beach, but I feel like we've got the best one here to ourselves at Amari. And it is so good to see Phuket thriving and back to life after restrictions have changed. I feel like it's so easy to get in now. And look at this, it is just, Paradise, Patong Beach, sort of the nightlife center of Phuket, but also incredibly beautiful. We have teamed up with Skyscanner to give you some tips when booking a long weekend trip. Before me and Matt started traveling full time, we absolutely loved a city break for a few days. And to this day, we still spend a few days in each city that we travel, exploring the sights, eating the best food, and of course, drinking that good beer. We use Skyscanner all the time, and I'm sure that you have used it at some point in your life. But what we're gonna do is actually just tell you why it's one of the best things to use when booking a trip. Skyscanner gives you the options to find the cheapest date and cheapest country or city to fly to. This means that basically all you need to do is click explore, everywhere and what you'll do is you'll see the cheapest destinations you can fly to. From having a look I can see that you can fly to Dublin for as little as £19 return for a weekend break in September. You can also use Skyscanner's traffic light system to judge which date in the month is best. It'll basically show you red and green and you're looking for the green ones. The best thing about weekend breaks is you literally can travel with hand luggage which means you save yourself the added costs of taking a bag away. Remember just pack a few outfits and enjoy the city that you're in for the bargain price that you found it. Huge thanks to Skyscanner for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to Phuket and enjoy your weekend break. I feel like this is the best way to ease us back into island life, staying on this beautiful resort. Huge though, they've literally got these tricycle tuk-tuk type things taking you all around to different spots of the resort and it makes it a little bit difficult to leave. When you're standing somewhere so beautiful and so many pools and so many spots to see. I kind of don't want to leave. Morning. Morning. That's another one of the uh, tricycle things I was talking about. And we have made it to the front of the resort, which is on the beach. Um, we actually went to this restaurant yesterday for lunch, which is the Rim Tale restaurant. And that is one of the two, three pools Four? there. I'm not sure. <laughs> Who knows? I'm lost, I need a map. <laughs> this is just unreal. It would be rude not to get a beer the size of your head in a place like this at pool. Number one of, I think three, I think there is three pools. I think we're gonna jump in the pool and then walk along to Patong Beach. I think from here it's about a 15 to 20 minute walk. Um, 
and see what's going on. I feel like it's going to be alive again. As this is Thailand's most touristy island, what else would you do but chill at the pool, chill at the beach maybe, have a couple of drinks and just enjoy the weather. We haven't jinxed it yet. I'm gonna say yet because I'm not sure whether it might pour down at some point, um, but this is lovely. Look at the backdrop. It definitely feels like you're in a jungle, even though you're only maybe 10 minute walk into the top. One of the beaches. This is actually is this a secluded a little I'm bay. Sure. I don't know. We're all by ourselves right now, so possibly. Um, but we kind of do need to leave the resort, you know. <gasps> oh, the sea is so warm. We do need to leave. You can't just stay here all day. Well, you can. Well, we can yeah. if you want. <laughs> yeah, we can. But I do think we should head off. This is lovely, though. I'm not actually sure if it's the resort's beach because we are the only ones on here. I know there's a hike that we can do behind to Tree Trang Beach. I think it's Tree Trang Beach, which is sort of like a secluded beach quite close to Patong. But when you're standing in a place like this, it does, it does make you a little bit lazy. I am gonna to walk to Patong soon, very soon. I mean, wow, look at this little stretch of beach of paradise. It looks like a mini Seychelles and even better with me in it. I mean, I like the beach. Welcome to Phuket. We have finally decided to venture out of the hotel and we actually realized right next to our hotel is this really cool fishing village. We wouldn't even know it was here if we weren't staying at the Amari Hotel. I think it's where you can see like the river leads into the sea and then all the boats come here of an evening and there's just something about a Thai long tail boat and you've got all the, yeah, you've got all the floating houses on the other side. It doesn't matter whether you're on a beach or on a river, those boats are like the picture of Thailand to me. Like that's literally what I envisage is these beautiful long tail boats, always with like ribbons hanging down. Um, this is so cool. I'm not this sure so I'd go secret. swim in here and I'm not sure we're even allowed to be here. They're like <laughs> building something and. Uh... But it's a lovely like viewpoint, isn't it? It goes on all the way down the river. This feels like deja vu. We actually were here five years ago and it kind of feels like back to normal. It's good to see it super busy again. It's not one of Thailand's best beaches, but this is sort of where everyone congregates. You obviously have the main nightlife area and then you have we'll all of tonight. these little... Yes, I'm sure we are, but they also have everything you could ever want on this beach. All of the bars and restaurants actually seem to be on the other side of the main road along the beach, but there are a few little beach shacks where you can get... I presume you can get a beer. I actually don't know. Maybe I'll try and get a beer, see if we can get a beer on here. But this is it. This is busy, huge Patong Beach. I think it's three to four kilometers in length either way. And I'd say it's busy. It's really busy considering this isn't the main tourist season. You're out of season now. It's the beginning of the rainy season. And there's a lot of people here. You can see why. You can see why a lot of people come here. There's good nightlife, a decent enough beach. Not the best beach you're going to find in all of Thailand, but it's good enough. Hello. Can I get uh, two Chang, please? Two Chang. Have you got Chang? Yes, yeah, thank you. Woo! Icy! <laughs> Icy cold. Okay. Thank you, Captain Thank Car. you, Captain Thank, Car. You. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Of course we found beer on the beach. Of course we did. And what a way to drink it. Ice cold. Thank you. Ah, and on little plastic chairs. There's definitely a special sort of charm about Patong. I don't know what it is. It reminds me a little bit of Kutar in Bali. It's not the most beautiful of beaches, not necessarily maybe the most beautiful places in Phuket, but you've got everything in one place. You can get a cheap beer on the beach while getting hassled a little bit, but um, it's icy cold. And if you're coming to Phuket, you've got to at least try Patong once, which is like, well, we're, we're, we're trying it for the second time, but five years later, but we're, it's, the, it's a perfect place to start before exploring all of the islands. Patong Beach, like we said, definitely isn't the prettiest. There's something but, I love about it. Yeah, I mean, it's um, it's busy, you can people watch, you can do activities, and you can get in the sea or drink beer on little plastic chairs on the beach, which I think is 
good enough for me but we're back at the Amari Hotel I need to give you a room tour excuse the mess it's messy we haven't kept it clean but the room is very big behind me I will show you the view in a second we have an unbelievable window table and chairs sofa we even got left little macaroons which are every color of the rainbow which I, I absolutely one. love you want to try one yeah what color can I have Orange? Pink? I don't even like orange as a colour. Actually, you can try it. You're not going to be able to speak now. That was so silly. Well, then we have our kitchen. We're not actually going to use that, but if you do come here, you can actually use the kettle, cooker. There's a full on cooker, which is really, really good. TV number one. This view. Not yet. Huge bedroom. I love this. Wait till you see the view. Big bathroom. I still have macaroon in my mouth. And then check the view. You around, look this. Are you ready? Look at this. This is wow. an unbelievable, unbelievable view of the whole Patong Beach up on the hill. We even have a second view that is just as good. This is unreal. result just gets bigger and bigger we're actually rushing up to the clubhouse which we didn't know existed to go to the lounge where between 5 30 and 6 30 i think for sunset there is all you can drink cocktails beers and food so we have an hour to it's 5 26 we've got four minutes till it starts to make the most of this this is unreal, we've made it to the lounge right on time obviously so we get the full hour and it's not only cocktails and beers, you can also help yourself to any premium spirit and I really wanted to try this, this is Chalong Bay which is a rum from Phuket, so a famous Thai rum, there's actually a distillery that we're, we're hoping to go to the distillery because I think every day they do like a tasting workshop but uh, <laughs> of course we're gonna go to we it. didn't make it to the distillery today so let's give it a go, cheers, the spirit of Phuket. Cheers. This Cheers. is so good. That is what I call a cocktail. I have a strawberry daiquiri. We even have the cutest little canapé tray. And inside there's like lots of other food dishes. So we picked up guacamole. What else did you get It's here? like build your own bruschetta. Build your own bruschetta. We have an amazing view. I think we might get a sunset. And I'm just sipping on a strawberry daiquiri. This has definitely got to be the best view so far. We've even got the infinity pool below us overlooking the bay Opatong and the sun setting in the distance it's just starting to glow but we haven't got too long to appreciate it we've got a rundown for dinner before we head out and check out the infamous Bangalore Road why are we doing this to ourselves There's still a glimmer of the sun setting behind us. This is La Grita at Amari Hotel and they've definitely gone above and beyond with this restaurant. It is crazy. We're literally right on the seafront right now. The most beautiful, peaceful location. It's actually an Italian restaurant, so I think it's uh, it's pizza or pasta. We have ordered way too much. These pizzas are huge and we got burrata on top. I don't even know why, but it looks so posh. good. We are very posh and Italian tonight. I gotta be careful not to spill it on my dress. Very classy. So creamy. I'm not very classy, that is so good. Good morning from Patong, Phuket, Thailand. Wow, Bangalore Road is definitely an experience. It's one of them things, even if it isn't your cup of tea, go there, go to a quiet bar, get yourself a drink, and just chill out and people watch. I promise you, it is the most fun ever. You will see so many unique, 
characters, but it is so good to see how busy Phuket and Patong in particular is. Um, Thailand's thriving, it's coming back to life, which is definitely great to see, and we had the best day at Amari. What an incredible hotel, the views, the food, the drinks, the cocktails, the lot. I'm very excited for our time in the south of Thailand. There's so much more to see and do, and so much more to come. So I'll see you in the next one from Phuket, Thailand.